Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about IF Doppler filter bank and applications of CW Radar. So IF Doppler filter bank is nothing but in the receiver part of CW Radar we have an IF amplifier. Uh, IF amplifier we have intentionally added to avoid flicker noise. Okay, so to avoid flicker noise. To avoid flicker noise, we have added intermediate frequency IF amplifier. So intermediate frequency we have added and thereby this IF amplifier, this intermediate frequency plus the Doppler frequency, these two are added up so that the Doppler, so that the input frequency of the receiver is more so the flicker noise can be avoided. This is the phenomenon how to avoid the flicker noise. In this way, we have added the flicker, we have added the IF amplifier that is okay, but to, how to select the bandwidth of the receiver? In the normal standard CRO, in the uh, standard uh, CW radar, standard CW radar, the bandwidth of receiver is equal to bandwidth of Beat frequency amplifier. Bandwidth of beat frequency amplifier. But now the bandwidth of this non-zero IF receiver, because now we are adding the IF component, so the now bandwidth of non-zero IF receiver is equal to bandwidth of IF amplifier. Because now IF amplifier is a part of this circuit. Okay. Now what happens? We need to set the or we need to choose the bandwidth of IF amplifier in such a way that it should select the required frequency component and eliminate all other unwanted frequency components. So how to how to select the bandwidth? One thing is we should select a very narrow bandwidth. Narrow bandwidth will select only the required frequency component and eliminates all other frequencies. So how to select the narrow pass narrow passband filters uh, and suppose I, I have already told you in the previous videos the range of Doppler frequency falls between 100 hedges to maximum of 1000 to 1500 hedges because it is having very very uh, least value that changes because of the movement of the target. FD is occurred because of the movement of the target and FD is zero for stationary targets. Okay, so we cannot choose a single filter for 100 to 1500 hedges. Okay, if we are choosing a single filter between these 100 and 15 hedges, uh, like I am having a filter with a frequency response and band pass it is having lower cut of frequency like 100 hedges and higher cut of frequency like 15, 1500 hedges suppose at that time I am having a FD of 900 hedge so around this 900 hedge somewhere around it is 900 hedge uh, along with this 900 hedge we are having the unnecessary frequency components may also noisy components may also enter into the receiver so we cannot choose a single filter with this much of band of frequencies. So we need to choose a, a filter bank of narrow passband responses, narrow passband filters with very shortest bandwidths. Like uh, suppose we need to do like this 100 hedges to 200 hedges we have to choose one filter and 200 hedges to 300 hedges we need to go for one more filter like this we need to go for n number of filters in such a way that each each filter should select a very narrow response so whichever the frequency that is coming through the input that only that particular filter only being responded all other filters are eliminated from the circuit so what happens unnecessary frequency components cannot enter into the receiver that much easily only the required component required frequency component can enter okay so in that way we need to use one uh, n number of filter banks 
so the block diagram of this filter bank method is like this so mixer the output is if if amplifier the output of if amplifier will be passing through n number of filters each filter is uh, uh, dedicated to one specific narrow passband okay each filter is a narrow passband filter narrow passband filter and we need to choose the filters 1 2 3 and so on n filters all these must be overlapped filter banks overlapped filter banks so that means higher cutoff frequency of first filter is equal to lower cutoff frequency of the second filter higher cutoff frequency of the first filter is equal to lower cutoff frequency of the second filter similarly the higher cutoff frequency of the second filter should be equal to the lower cutoff frequency of the third filter in such a way that we in such a way we need to select the filter uh, cutoff frequencies must be matched one with another so that no frequency will be missing here the output of this filter is passing through detectors individual detectors are there output of this one is given to indicators indicators is nothing but pair of earphones okay so the frequency responses of these uh, filter banks will be like this so see here this is the overall if bandwidth if bandwidth is the overall response if bandwidth from here to here it is the if bandwidth in this we are using n number of filters to select the required correct frequency filter so this is the first filter with a band cutoff frequency here this is the cutoff frequency here the higher cutoff frequency of this first filter response second filter third fourth and so on n filter responses are here so higher cutoff frequency of this first filter is equal to the lower cutoff frequency of the second filter and similarly higher cutoff frequency of the second filter is equal to lower cutoff frequency of the third filter and so on okay if we choose this overlapped frequency responses no frequency will be missing here that is the main reason why we are selecting the overlapped filter banks okay so in this way we can select a narrow passband suppose incoming signal frequency is uh, particularly like a 300 edges that particular filter which is having the 300 edge will be selected and all other frequencies are completely open circuited okay in this way we can select the required passband filter using narrow passband filters and all other frequencies are eliminated noise can be eliminated so this is the if doppler filter bank which we are using in the cw radar okay next one is applications of cw radar so where we can use this cw radar what is the main application of cw radar what is the main purpose of cw radar it is used to find the velocity of the target it is used to find the velocity of the target velocity of target so the main purpose of the cw radar is used to find the relative velocity of the target with which it is moving so using keeping this point in mind there are several applications of the cw radar so that is used for traffic light controlling and vehicle counting okay the main and first application of this ccw radar is traffic light controlling traffic lights if you see in any cities a lot of traffic um, more traffic is there so in that traffic signals automatically controlled based on the strength of vehicles that are coming in any direction so that is automatically done based on the ccw radar and it is also used for the vehicle counting in railways cw radars can be used as speedometers instead of conventional tachometers so cw radars can be used as speedometers normally tachometer is used to measure the speed of any vehicle and speedometers uh, like uh, the cw radar can be used as a speedometer for railways used for the measurement of velocity of the missiles this is the one of the main applications of cw radar as it is used to find the velocity of any vehicle so here uh, we to find the velocity of missiles we are using it is also employed for monitoring and docking uh, speed of the large ships normally ships are being um, just away from some few kilometers away from the uh, harbors it will not enter into the harbor okay what is the speed of the ship when it is moving near this harbor like docking 
so what is the speed of that uh, ships we can monitor and as well as we can find the speed of any normal like boats and uh, any large vehicles that are moving and that are uh, just moving on the water we can also use so the cw radar mainly used to find the speed of any such vehicles which are uh, moving uh, and without any contact the main purpose of this one is without any contact with the physical contact with that uh, with that uh, vehicle we can find the velocity uh, by after uh, discussing this point you may have one point in mind that in police radars also we use this cw radar in police radar what is the purpose of police radar what is the purpose of police radar police radar is used to find the speed of the vehicle in its in any speed limit zone suppose in highways one speed limit is zone zone uh, speed limit zone is there like 80 kilometers per hour suppose if any vehicle goes and crosses this speed like 90 kilometers per hour in the 80 kilometers per hour zone then immediately police radar detects the speed of the vehicle and poses some fine okay so this type of applications are there with this cw radar and uh, Used for the detection of moving targets without any physical contact with them. This is what I have explained so far. So without any physical contact with the devices, with the vehicles, so we are calculating the speed of that particular vehicle. Okay. So these are the applications of CW radar and uh, IF Doppler filter bank we have used in the CW radar. Thank you.